Hi, welcome to Yoga in My Living Room, where I make informal videos for my family and friends and then share them on the internet. You're welcome. All right, so we are gonna work on some lower body stretches. These are incredibly popular. You're going to find them in a lot of yoga videos. We're just gonna nuance them a little bit. Now, I said in previous videos, if you don't have a yoga block, the dictionary sitting on your shelf is really good. If you don't have a dictionary from when you were 12, just any book around this size. Um, you can also use step stools, you can use your kids' blocks if you have them. Anything that like gives you a lift, gives you a little bit of support. Um, I'm noticing the boxes on the chair over there, so boxes work too. I love props. If you are not flexible enough to hit the floor or to be in the full bend the way you need to be, get the props. There's, it's not cheating. All right, we're gonna go into the stretch. So you can start standing on your shins. We're gonna bring the right foot forward. We're in a low lunge. Now you might already feel it in your thigh over here. Um, and that's great. And then we're gonna take a little bit of a back bend because why waste this time? So we're gonna reach the arms up, long back. <sighs> Engage the core, arch the back. And release. From here, we're gonna step that right foot forward. So we're in an extended low lunge. You're probably really gonna feel this right here in your hip flexor, all right? If we wanna go lower into it, go ahead, place your hands on either the ground or one or both uh, uh, props that you have. That's the word. Whew. Now, if you're hyper flexible, if you're feeling yourself really sink into this, pull yourself back up. Um, you can imagine your thighs trying to magnet towards each other while you're retaining the posture. Now it's very common to then lean the hips back, straighten that front leg, lift the toes up off the ground, and we're folding here. This is where people especially get stuck. They're often, it's very, um, it's very tight. It's a lot on the hamstring. So they'll be up here and they're kind of hovering and you lose so much of the stretch when you're focusing on on, on balancing. <laughs> so these are real good. You grab onto your props, you hold them right here, or come down, you go to where you're available. So rather than create more work for your upper body when you're trying to stretch the lower body, relax the upper body using your support, and then you can stretch into the lower body. Now I recommend at least at the start of your stretching to make this dynamic. So we move forward and then we move back. Inhale, exhale. And when you feel a little warm, especially if you've started this cold, you can then hang out for a couple of breaths. I strongly recommend using the breath. Every exhale will help you really relax and that's what you need. You need to tell your body, chill out and relax into the stretch. All right, so we're gonna come out. I'm gonna switch sides, see if I have anything else to talk about while I do, but I really wanna be balanced right here. So if you feel you got my message, great. If not, continue with me. So we're starting out in our low lunge, reaching the arms up overhead, engaging the core, arching the back. Back bends are so good for the upper body. And then we're gonna extend the foot a little bit forward. We're in that low lunge. You might feel it a little bit more on this side. You might feel it a little bit less. Remember, again, if you're dropping into it, you're collapsing into it, pull those thighs up, make them work. Feel them magnetize. Let's bring the hips back, straighten that front leg. Now, if you're, another thing you can do, tip you can do is once you're in this pose, rise up, lengthen the spine, and it's actually a good tip. Lengthen the spine, bring your hands forward, and imagine like someone's pulling you from the shoulders. So your back is flat and I'm pulling, I'm being pulled. There we go, hands down. I'm deeper into the stretch. Wow, baby, it hurts so much more. Good hurt, not bad hurt. Whew. And I'm there, I'm using the support. Now you can play, you can be like, oh, I don't know, I wanna try down here. Great, go, do it. It's too much, come back up. Let's make it dynamic so we're moving forward, hitting back, forward, and back. Now, I've seen videos a lot, and I think I'm pretty guilty of it too, where people will say, okay, last one, put everything you got, try harder on this one. 
And you know what? I realized it's so much harder when you do it that way. Let's hang out here frontward just because I did it on the other side. I'm interrupting my story or myself to say that what you do on one side, you do on the other. Balance your body. Back to what I was saying. I recommend trying to challenge yourself on the first go around and then progressively making it easier. As you get tired, it's going to be harder. So if you want to give yourself a challenge, do it the first time around. Maybe the second one if it's a new move. And then if you need to say that's it, it's too much, come out of it, that's all right. All right, come back up, release. Voila, you have now made that stretch so much easier. Um, I guess the key things are have accessories, it's all right, and straighten the spine, fold forward with the long back, and it'll be so much easier for you. See you next time.